2, 3, synchro. These are two of the first uh, black and white sketches I bought from him. I like the hair here a lot. Yeah. I like the hair. Amazing. With spontaneity, that's the word we're looking for. Yeah, very really sweet. That's probably the biggest of the best I've seen so far. These? The best of I've seen him do, yeah. Definitely. Mm. He's got, his faultless is just genius. Yeah, not the position there, yeah. yeah. just the muscles there. Yeah, it's total genius. Yeah, like that. Yeah. Well, I like this one way better than that one. Yeah. This is too American for me. I don't mind that. <laughs> I don't mind that. Right. Oh, so good. Yeah. The yeah. That's the stuff yeah. I kept. Lucy, yeah. which was a book, and now he's redoing it on computer, and it's supposed to make a movie. That's what he's working on now, the first mm -hmm. uh, human ape. You know, kind of pages that uh, Kevin Eastman bought and then he sold them, so. Mm -hmm. I brought them back. This is uh, this was ordered by uh, Hustler magazine, by Flint All right. himself, yeah. which is pretty good. Cool. Mm. This is the cover of one of the stories he made. Wow! Yeah, I think that's the story. That's the story itself. <coughs> was using for background on that? Was that it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Because I have to put the title here, so. Oh, okay. I left them off the title. So you not you see the lack of use of a black line around there? Yeah. There's no line around it. Kind of makes it more. I like it. Prefer that. A different style here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. But the story is really good. I think the story was made before the cover. Mm. She can see some are really, really well made. Not used to seeing it where it actually puts the balloons. On. Yeah, and there. Normally, uh, in uh, uh, American comic books, you get uh, you the balloons are put in afterwards. Oh, really? On top with an overlay. Yeah. Oh. I heard they do it before. So one is fed up and it doesn't want to work. So since this is the last one of the last pages, you can see already what Simon you have to get closer. You see, it gets weaker. Oh, I forgot to come back from. That's okay. I need to have a little bit of a photo back 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 where we came from. And uh, we're back into. Because we 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 got much much faster than we did before because the double two slow is very boring. So we've got to talk more. We'll do that real quick. Okay. okay. So I start getting hot. So that's a uh, series from the clients from the prostitutes. Remember? No. Same series. You know the prostitute, the burned girl, and oh yeah, yeah. yeah. It's the same era. Yeah. Same same series. Yeah. I think it's the best work. Yeah. But the first time we started to do kind of fucked up kind of anatomy and stuff. Yeah, kind of. You first know, approach to uh, kind of. We're taking things a bit further before. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. No, actually, not at the beginning. At the beginning, too, it was doing long. One, like two, three, four, five. Mosh said I've got to hold a piece for five seconds each. Hey! Yeah. Well, anyway, putting them over here. Yes, it's nice, isn't it? Yeah. Was this. Uh, I mean, I was, gonna be, was that going to be colored or was that just going to be... Was no, that just it is colored. Just kept it like that. Yeah, nice that's, that's, that's yeah. This is from the same time, uh, from June. Oh, yeah, yeah, I recognize that. So he did the... Uh, of course, he did the work for that, did he? The design no, for that. I think they asked him to do an illustration or whatever. <laughs> that's so gross, isn't it? I like the background. Yeah. Well, the thing is that all those, the, the machinery complements the, 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 the flash and stuff, you know, nice contrast, lifts it out. The yeah, I said the black line is a bit too thick, that's why I didn't like it. Yeah. The, the surrounding black line is a little too thick, so it's not as sharp. It's not as sharp as the clients and the prostitutes. I think the reason why it's put a heavier black, a, a heavier line around it is because it's uh, gives it more gives this character more weight. Yeah, it does, but it's pretty required. Yeah, but look, look at the fineness, different the fineness between the two. <coughs> this is mm. much much more refined over here, even though that the, the work is the same work. Mm. Wow. I think here too the black line is too thick. I think just he had the wrong pen at the wrong time. Also, this is later. That's three years after that. Wow. That's a uh, that's a pretty famous cover. Well, uh, cover for I think uh, um, or heavy metal. No, I could have frigid. I don't know. Do you know heavy metal cover? One of one of them. Uh, that's an early one. Commercial for that Frigidaire magazine, mm. where, where all the big talent that. guys were. Yeah, of course, yeah. it's written Frigidaire. <laughs> That's a recognized thing. Ah, you know that one? Thing. I I've seen it. it. I'm sorry. I'm being so mean to him. I am? Please beat really. me up. Beat I'm mean me enough. Beat me up. Beat me up. Anyway, so you recognize it. 
Yeah. This, this Batman piece, is the first Batman that I've ever Batman piece I've seen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Also, I, I, again, I think I, I would have thought he would have pushed it a bit further. More of the cloak and things than that, but he kept it tight. Yeah, and this is one that did this mm. third one is zero, so working with pencil and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's not as violent as the first one. Even though in the black and white there's more expression on the Batman, but this is just a nice visual piece, you know, yeah, a cute yeah. piece yeah. with a Joker as a gargoyle. Mm. The colors. You see, it's like using much right. thinner colors, colors yeah. Yeah. instead of these. Uh, these uh, uh, pastel colors, you know, like the time of uh, Miami Vice, mm. when everybody was using pastels and shit. What? No. You don't really? remember Miami Vice? Yeah. Yeah, everything is pastel in Miami, the houses, you know, light pink, light green, light blue. Okay, sure. Uh, oh, why would that influence so much art with that? Well, that was the period, everybody was into pastels really? at the time, and then, okay. and then later, so we went into, you see, here. Time of the first Ranzi Rocks, very pastely looking. Yeah. And then the time of Ranzi Rocks the third, which which starts to get much, much brighter. More vibrant. Yeah. Is that a conscious effort on his part? Not really, I don't think so. I don't think so. It looks good there, it looks well. It looks yeah. the ranks is looking pretty good. It looks, yeah, it looks happy. The top of his head matches the rest of his uh, rest of his head now. Yeah. <laughs> also it was done pretty quick, you can see but mm. so let's see some of the some of the good pages. That's the end of the second book. It's the first one, Morning Rock pages. You let me buy. I always used to say, I'm not selling any, I'm, not, I'm keeping them, I'm keeping them. Yeah. So I would, I would beg him to sell me one. So yeah. That's the first one he sold me ever. That's the one, yeah. Oh. And I think I think also the the uh, those panels tend to shade. You know, if you leave it in the on the wall, yeah, they lose completely the color. Right. Since it's uh, you know it's alcohol based and gets bleached very quickly in the sun. Horrible stuff. That's where that's quite a really good. Mm. It's classic. Yeah. 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 This one and that one. That's also the the mm. shading here. The colors and the shading are just amazing, you know. Yeah, I always thought the page would be bigger than that original. No, so that's uh, some people in France work on this size, like Douillet. Yeah. This size original. I have some in the back, mm. and some uh, work on the, the regular size. Does so all, all, the, all the the lower quality pages I bought them. This one took me a long time to get that page. It's one of the best pages, I think, from the book. Yeah. I mean, look at the hand here. It's just unbelievable. Uh, Lumina getting high. Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> Perfect. Yep. Huh? So what, what, what was Red Zero? What was he just uh, he, he 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 about? The, the, story, the story that is uh, this. Uh, a place with those uh, kind of like Red Brigade, you know, Badermeinhof in those days, those uh, European terrorists. Mm. Uh, you heard of the Red Brigades in Italy and Badermeinhof yeah, yeah. in Germany mm. and stuff. So the police came to arrest them, they killed everybody. Mm. One guy survived and there was a rank Xerox copy machine over there. So he took it and he transformed it into a robot. And that's why it's called rank Xerox. And now he had a, a button to uh, to set his uh, violence level and the violence level that stuck on maximum. Right, right, right. Which was actually using just red also. Yeah, of course, that's mean machine. Mean machine, so yeah. off of Mild that. to, uh, yeah, extremely yeah. dangerous to. So, uh, copied also from Rank Zero. So basically, he's in love with a 18 year old girl. He's protecting this, uh, sorry, 13 year old girl junkie. Mm -hmm. In America, you have to be 18 years old because uh, that wasn't, uh, it was censored, the 13 year old junkie. Yeah. So, Okay. So basically, you got all the pages. You're the top book yeah. for series. Yeah. This is this was censored in America. <coughs> they put a, a cloth over it in Germany. They put a black <laughs> piece over it. Also, that kind of music. These are some of the best. She just gets his dick out. Uh, look at the background here. Yeah. I mean, it's even the plane, the weird plane and stuff. Mm -hmm. What a talented chap. This piece. What was he pulling his lip like that? 
Yeah, yeah. 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 Look at that piece and this piece, yeah. just amazing. The way you put the head like this, you know. Yeah, I, get the, I need to do that. Yeah. Yeah. So your little girl comes and sells roses, yeah. and uh, he gets pissed off and he just oh. crushed the little girl's hand. The book. This guy who likes to take pictures of accidents, and then he's in love with books. Yes, that's, that's, yeah. that. yeah. so that's, that's the, the third one. Third one. one of the best, best okay. pieces ever. That's the third one. Yeah. And whatever reason, that's probably better for it. It's one of the best pieces you've done. Well, really? They didn't do it very well. So, anyway. <laughs> Combination of things, right? Yeah. All right. Oh. We've got all that, all lovely, fantastic. Yeah, that's the, that's the piece from Crash with the girl in the trunk, yeah. dying, you know. For uh, heavy metal, and then he was refused being too ethnic. Too ethnic? Yeah. What does that mean? What do you mean? <laughs> Not to the American taste. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Which I thought was a pretty good word. Too ethnic. You have enough breast in there or something, haven't huh? you? Yeah. It's always me again. Because I'm a character in the third Rock Zero. As you can see. There he is. Mr. Man. The man of the hour. Star of the movie. So it kept between the two, two books, wasn't it? Twelve years. Mm. You see the difference, right? yeah. Different techniques. Yeah. Even if it's somber, you know, darker, still, it's really bright colors, which is very strange. So I guess I didn't like it at the beginning, but uh, I like it now. So I guess his eyes was ahead of, a few years ahead of my eye, I guess. You know, I like that piece too a lot, you know? Yeah. Lovely ash. Great movement in yeah. the fingers and stuff. This is a cool one. Frank Xerox has a priest uh, meeting uh, Mark Tyson. Mark Tyson. He did it too fast. So you can see when he's working on something and then he gets bored. And well, you don't get bored sometimes, but you can't be consistent all the time. Yeah. That's the last page. Where Rank Zero is used as a uh, radio, and Lubna is always fucked up as usual because he could never do her right. Hmm. Well, this this is a. Uh, I don't know. It's just a few years before that, and it's supposed to be the same as six, seven stories. Uh, thing. Right. It took him like five years to do these six, seven pages. Mm -hmm. So you can see the difference in style in every page. When you do like one page a year. Or two, three pages at the last, last second, you know. What was he doing? Was he doing this at the same time? Then, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Like doing it, so you wait till the last, last, last second, and it was even too late to start working on it, you know. And uh, no, no, it works for me. You know, you know what I'm talking about. That was, and that's the first page from the new book after did that crap. So basically, it took him, took him 12 years to make it. Mm. Pretty sad. I don't think it's crap. I'm not sure. No, it's good. But I mean, compared to what it could be, could be good. Really. I really don't see. Uh, they don't sound like you seem to. The stuff you don't like, you seem to uh, put more, more work into it. So I don't know. It looks to, to me better. I love here the textures, the way it shines it, like mm -hmm. the spandex. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cool. Yeah, nice controls, huh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Alright, well that's about it for Liberator.